Hey YouTube, this is Rochelle, AKA Shelly Witt, and I'm here with Sedena Surgical Services, and they're out of the Dominican Republic, and I wanted to share what outfit I have on and why. So um, my name's Shelly Witt, AKA Rochelle Whitfield. I'm from New Jersey, and I'm getting ready to have a major procedure after uh, 15 years of keeping off 100 pounds. So when I was 16, I had pediatric gastric bypass surgery. I started out at 340 pounds. I lost 10 pounds and, or sorry, 13 pounds for surgery. And I went into surgery at 327 at 16. And as of today, I'm 235 pounds. Um, and I'm 15 years older than that. <laughs> so um, I'm getting ready to, uh, have a breast lift, tummy tuck, 360 lipo and, uh, BBL. And, um, that's because of just years of exercise and dieting going up and going down through life cycles. You do have like excess skin and I do still have a significant amount of fat left over, even after having weight loss surgery. Um, dieting and exercising. And a lot of it is really difficult for me to get off and keep off because mm -hmm. of the shape of my body. So I know that the relief from the pressure of my stomach apron, the relief of the pressure um, of the fat in my upper back, and all of that kind of going towards the back of my body is going to allow me to get in better workouts, is going to allow me to get better weight loss results long term in my life and, um, you know, maintain my health and maintain that body. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I am wearing a Faja that I got from Amazon and I'm seated right now, but I'm going to stand up and show you guys the full body uh, view of it. And I've been wearing it for a while intermittently. And underneath this, I also have one two. Um, stomach bands, you know, the uh, 360 ones that are like uh, 15 feet long and you have to wrap it around. I have two of those on as well as a sweat band underneath. And I use that to actually lift my stomach apron and give me a anchor to wrap the other ones around because this um, bodysuit doesn't have any boning in it to give me uh, or, or a, a stomach board or a backboard or anything of the nature. So anyway, um, this also came with a strap that goes across that wore out really fast on me. So I ended up losing it and um, I don't get the real tug that I need here. But the point is I'm wearing this before surgery because a lot of times in outfits you want like a certain shape. And that's what we get the surgery for. Like I um, am getting surgery not just for the weight loss, but also for the body image, you know, even after losing a lot of weight, I still have a lot of body image issues from having saggy skin and the uh, extra fat that's still left over after a weight loss surgery. So all of that will get relieved. But um, in addition to that, the breast lift was something that was a concern for me because um, I wanted everything to be proportional. And so I was thinking that I might need implants, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to stick with them. And that's because I'm finally fitting on this again and seeing where the fat's going to be distributed everywhere. So um, while I'm standing, you can see a, six, a 360 view of what a Faja would look like or a, a bodysuit looks like. And um, what, what the fat and um, skin is looking like all lifted, but without surgical intervention. So for me, I always call this area, I know most of us women, we call this the fupa area, but I call this my apron. Normally I have skin that goes from, you know, right above where my vagina sits, um, you know, to my belly button and it's kind of loose. I can pinch on it. That's, I call that my apron. And then I call this area, the fupa, the actual fat upper place, and it's actually my upper labia, and that really needs to be um, lifted as well. Um, the inner thigh fat 
being distributed to the hips is going to help a lot. And also um, a significant amount of the upper back fat going down to my glutes and hips is going to give me a lot more balance in my body when I'm moving. And just, you know, the bad girl uh, facade as well, like the the physique or what's it called? The silhouette. So um, I'm already over five minutes. It's all going it. OK, so I just wanted everybody to see what a suit looks like beforehand. And um, congratulations to everybody who's changing our lives. Just um, let's stick together and get through this and recover well. Let's make sure that we follow all of the instructions from our doctors and from our coordinator so that we have the best long term results, because just a couple months of good recovery is worth Lots of years of good health and good body image. All right, deuces and much love to y'all.